Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make YouTube thumbnail, like the one on the screen now, and the ones like the thumbnails for my other videos which I've done. The theme of it is going to be Fortnite, so if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So, first of all, what you're going to do is when you're on Photoshop CS6, is you want to go to the top left where it says file and then you want to click new and then you want the width to be 1280 by 720 that's because these are the perfect dimensions for a youtube thumbnail and then once you've done that you want to make sure it's on rgb color so it's red green and blue and that can either be transparent color or whatever um, i just always have it on transparent then hit ok and it should bring up this canvas um, you can obviously zoom out if you want to if you can zoom in but anyway this is what we're going to be using to actually make our um, Fortnite thumbnail and if you want to scroll in and out by the way it's um hold alt on keyboard and use a scroll on your mouse um but anyway this is our blank canvas which we've got to work with all this is going to be the youtube thumbnail so what i like to start off by doing is actually going to google and then just putting in Fortnite scenery going to images and i like to look for one that's like like this like well no not like that because it's got a name in the top left like one like one kind of like this so it's a good quality and it's like just a scenery like that's not a bad one that's obviously one that i've used before um there's always one that i really like though um that's pretty good actually i've never even seen that before but we're gonna go over this one so i'll just copy this go back to photoshop and press ctrl c on my keyboard and it brings this up then make sure the lace selects on the right and hold ctrl t by the way all this that i'm doing in the video I've like I've taught myself how to do it, um, so if I do things and you know what you're doing on Photoshop and you're like, oh, that could be done a, like in a different way, easier way, do it that way. This is the way I'm used to doing it, and I've taught myself doing it, and that's that's how I'm gonna carry on doing it. If you know what I mean, like everything might not be perfect, but just do it how you feel like you can do it best. So I'm gonna keep that like that, and then press Enter once I've done when I once I'm happy with it, and then once i've done that is i want to decide on a color theme for this thumbnail so for me i'm going to go for like a light blue uh and obviously man's going to like have a character there um a background and then like some effects and text and stuff and uh this style like i've actually made myself like i haven't seen anyone else's thumbnails like this like, obviously people have got text and a character but like i've never seen actually any like like man with all the effects and stuff um, yeah, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got the right colour that I want, which is light blue. Create a new layer at the bottom right, which is just like this folded up piece of paper. Just go over the full the full picture. Like, like so. I'm going to go to here and press soft light. Double click on the layer. Set it to 50. So that makes it like, like it's got like a little bit of a blue overlay. And then hold, like make sure the layer is selected. Hold shift and click on it right click and then merge the layers now i'm going to go to this thing that's like a little that's called curves it's like a little s and do it in the shape of an s like that to darken the image and then merge the layers again and you can do this to like make it lighter darker do whatever you want with it but um i'm just going to keep mine on zero like that and then obviously just merge the layers again so it doesn't all get confusing but anyway after that i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to go back to the internet I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna go on a website. Well, I'm gonna show you a website I actually gonna use, but it's good. just put in. Just go to this. Just go to this website here. Um, FNBR basically dot co. It's not. It's not hard to remember. And here, literally, they have cosmetics, PNG list, gallery item shop. Literally, every single item, every single skin you could imagine on the on the game is on this website. You know, PNGs, um, like images where it's got like the background so let me show you what i mean um uh, like like an orange background everything you could want on this auto shutdown initiated that you like auto shutdown cancelled that you could want for thumbnail is on here but what i'm going to actually do is because well i sort of mind you i'm saying all this but i've been looking and the t100 skin for season four is the omega skin i think with all the armor on and that's not actually on here like we've got like the starter carbide skin and the normal omega skin but we haven't got the one with all the armor on literally just contradicting myself 
so much. But anyway, the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to put in Season 4 Tier 100 um, skin. And just see what comes up with. Uh, that don't really come up with it. Omega skin Season 4. And, uh, and finally, this, Im this image right here. I'm just going to save it to desktop or save it to somewhere that you know. I've already done that, so I'm going to go to back to my Photoshop, make sure I'm on my new layer. Gonna actually, before we do anything, gonna make sure I'm on the colour that I want. Get my brush tool again and just go around the edges with the faded brush, just like so. Try and do it as even as you can around each side, like this. Like that. I was gonna say it to fat. Put it to normal, let's try. I was gonna put it to normal and put it to fifty. You can just like obviously you don't have to do everything I'm do doing. I'm just gonna try out a few. Forty five seems about right. It's gonna leave that like that and then I'm just gonna merge them again. I forgot to do that. Create a new layer again. And then I'm gonna go to where I saved the image of the Omega skin. Um which should be what have I got it saved as down here. Oh. Um like that Q thing, right? File place, and then go down to wherever you've got it saved. Uh, there we go. Double click it and press enter. I'm just gonna click this little eye on the right, so it gets rid of the other layer. And what I'm gonna do basically here is I can either get this tool, this magnetic one, and go right around the outside of it, or what I could do is just do this, where if I hold down on the magnetic. No, sorry, click this one here, this like um, wand, make sure I'm on the layer selected, and then basically click there, delete, oh hang on, why aren't this working then, wait there, oh hang on, hang on, let's try, right so, once you've found the image, copy it, and then paste it, and then go to the, w the one tool, click, and press delete on your keyboard, you had to copy it, not save it, sorry. Do the, do this all around the character, um, like so. And once these like, cause these bits are a bit are like a bit faffy, just go to file, save as, desktop or wherever you want to save it. And I don't know why this is so big, but it will let me make it smaller. Anyway, I'm just gonna call it Omega PNG, and then file format, save it as a dot PNG, save, okay, and then you can delete this layer. And obviously I'm going to delete that layer. And then make this one visible again. Create a new layer. Go to File, Place. Find my Omega PNG. There we go. Like so. And then I'm just going to get the rubber. Like that. And then just rub out this bit right here. Like that. And then I've got myself a very neat looking PNG of the Omega skin. And for me I'm just going to make it bigger. To do that I just press Control T on my keyboard while having the layer selected and I'm um, and then I'm just gonna like make it the right size well so you don't stretch it and like make it all thingy like all different sizes like properly like you stretch the image like you know like you know like that and have it like that because that's not what you want to do um you want to What you want to do is Control T and then hold Shift while you do it, and no matter where I move my mouse, the image stays the same. Like the same, like it doesn't stretch, but it gets bigger and smaller until you get it to a size that you're happy with. I was gonna, I like it like that. So then I'm gonna drag it over to the right, press Enter, and then I'm gonna right click on it and duplicate the layer. And then having the copy one selected, I'm gonna go to Filter, uh, Blur. Then you can do any you want. I'm gonna do Motion Blur. I've got the angle to 70. Hit OK. Then this, I'm just gonna move it to the t like to the top and to the right a little bit, and drag it beyond the layer that's on top of it, um, like so. So it looks like it's like a blurred version of it. Then I'm gonna double click on the top one, stroke. Oh, hang about. Don't know what's going on there. Um, normally I had a stroke for some reason with the um, rubber. 
something must have been there. Let's try it now. Alright, okay. Right, gonna add a stroke. Colour, white, size, five, opacity 50. The reason I'm doing that is because you can still see the outline around it, but it's not too overpowering because I still want people to notice the um, thing in the background. And I'm gonna, once I've got this like, top layer selected, I'm gonna go to this hue saturation thing on the right. Click that, I'm gonna drag it until I get the colour of the character which I like. So obviously I'm, I'm going to get a light blue, which is uh, which obviously is that. And it makes the rest of the background a different colour, but that doesn't matter. And then once I've got it, how I want it, I wanna, I wanna make sure the hue, 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 hue slash saturation is selected. Hold shift and click this and this. Right click, then merge layers. And then you can resize it and everything if you want. And that changes it back to normal. Uh, obviously it's got red on it, but there's not what you can really do about that. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's it. You can add like a little, maybe like a drop shadow or something, but you don't really want too many effects on it. And then what I'm going to do next is actually add the text. Um, so I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to click T and click anywhere on my page. And the font, I'm using the actual Fortnite font which is called Badaboom BB, so it's like bold. I'm basically just going to put um, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Uh, create a new layer. Tutorial. I'm going to center them like so. I'm going to select both the layers on the right and then Control T. Mash them up a little bit angle them just so they're the same basically like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just click on thumbnail click T and up here I'm going to click the T with like an arch on it click you can like do all of these effects I'm going to click arc and I'm going to put it to 15 maybe not maybe 10 yeah 10 so thumbnail and then I'm just going to move tutorial up a little bit um, I want them down actually. Just it's just all just like just trying out what you like and stuff like that. I'm happy with that. And then I'm actually gonna just add the effects to the text now. So if I double click thumbnail and then put a drop shadow on it, an outer glow which is gonna be white, size twenty, spread twenty, gradient overlay. I'm gonna go with black and white, but I'm gonna change the black to just like a just like a can not like a grey, like a just like a darker white kind of ish thing start stroke size 5 color white uh in a glow you can't really see it but trust me it does make a difference a little 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 bit um light blue and then size 15 okay and then that's it for the tutorial so thank you for watching fuck me i'm funny right anyway you can hardly read that so then auto I'm shutdown gonna... initiated oh auto so shutdown bad. cancelled so once you've done that, you're going to right click on the layer, duplicate it, okay, double click on the copied layer, untick stroke, untick outer glow, like so. And then for tutorial, you're going to do the same, exactly the same, but light blue, or whatever colour you want to do, obviously. Me, I've already got like a few gradients already made up uh, for blue, but for me, I'm going to go with this one. Stroke again, five color white. Um, in a glow, light blue. Size fifteen. Like so, and then duplicate it, and then double click it. Untick stroke and out glow, like so, and then you've got like this three D effect kind of on the text. You could even like move it the top layer to the right a little bit so it looks a bit more three D, which I'm going to actually do. Um like so but you don't have to do that that's completely up to you you don't have to do anything i'm doing this video and then next all we're going to do now is literally add the effects to the thumbnail so for me i've already got them saved but if you just take search like gloom pm like camera flared png stuff like that you'll be able to find the same ones as me uh like smoke png stuff like that so what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to find my Blue smoke, there it is, and I'm just gonna put that like at the bottom of the character, like so. 
Um, I'm just going to drag it under the text, but above the character. Um, and then it's too dark for me, so again, hue saturation. Make it a little bit lighter. Um, merge the layers. And go to the top, make a new layer. Go to file place again. Find this blue like explosion looking thing. Magic, I've called it. Here. Make it bigger. Just a little bit bigger than the character itself. Um... Maybe a bit big. Let's try that like that. I'm going to drag that underneath the character. Like so. It makes the character stand out a little bit more. And the text actually. Go to the top again. Make a new layer. File place. Again. I'm going to add a, a camera. Flare. Glare. Whatever you want to call them. Um, let me find it. I do have it somewhere. There it is, like so. I'm gonna turn it on a side. I'm gonna put it right about, right about there. I'm gonna drag it underneath the text, like that, and underneath the, like that. So it looks like there's a glare coming off the uh, the text a little bit. Um, and then what I'm gonna do after that is go to the top again. I'm gonna go to my light blue, my paintbrush. The fade, I'm just going to go around the edge like this. And then like down and across. Colour that in. Go to that and then go soft light. Which I'm happy with. You can always like adjust the opacity of it. So like 50, I don't know, 75, whatever you want. But I'm going to keep it on 100. Um, and then after that, honestly, it's up to you whether you're done or not. You can leave it like that. And add things so I like to add um like shield potions so I think I think I have some of them saved. Um yeah there we go like this like that and then just right click and duplicate it um paintbrush make this one a bit smaller turn it the other way like like that maybe make one more like that, just make it maybe a little bit bigger. Like that. However you're happy with it. And obviously that that that's actually it. There's nothing else you can really do. Other than that, that's how I make my thumbnails on Photoshop. I taught myself how to do it, so if anything's if like a bit complicated compared to like how you can do it easier then let me know down in the comments but if you did like this video and it did help you make sure to also comment that down below make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with future videos and live streams on fortnite other than that i'm well i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one